Hello friends, Kishan is here again. I came up with the some set of Eclipse shortcut keys and at this time I am going to cover some sort of a Eclipse shortcuts which is required for code refactoring. So in this list first uh, shortcut key we have a Alt plus Shift plus R and this shortcuts basically we use to rename selected elements and all its references. So here is my Eclipse. Suppose here I have a constant, right? Uh, I have a class is called constants and here I have declared a constant and that is a public static final. So this constant we can access from here, right? So I have access from here and uh, let's assume this constant is, constant is getting access I mean in more than one classes in my Eclipse or in my project and I want to rename this uh, constant name and I want all its references should be updated automatically so at this time only I am accessing this constant in one class but you might need to access in more than one classes and whenever I change name of this constant then all its references should be updated so let's see how to do this so select this variable and press ctrl alt shift r and look at this here one box is there showing that uh, enter new name press enter to refactor so i'm going to specify the new name over here i would say uh, employee underscore type and press enter so it, now i have changed name of this variable and go to here so here automatically that gets updated right so this is the one of the shortcut to rename any variable or even you can uh, rename method as well so suppose i have a dog class and dog class uh, i have a method right so if i change this method signature name of this method then i want this should be automatically updated so again you will have to press ctrl shift r and now once you change this method name then all its references will be updated everywhere in your source code so that's all i'm not going to rename this method so that is already i have shown you for a constant and similarly this is going to work for method as well so let's you try at home so that's about all alt shift and r now next thing we have a alt shift c change method signature uh, so let's go in Eclipse and I'm going to define a method over here uh, like private void get int and here this guy is gonna Sorry. this is a method so and here I'm going to int array and here you can declare initialize this array with some integer value and you can give the array name as well so I'm going to give array name here now we have defined this method like this now I'm planning to uh, rename refactor this method right so as per this command change method signature I want to change the method signature so what we will have to do you will have to press alt shift C alt shift and C a pop-up comes and here you have change method signature saying that pop-up so here from drop down you can select the uh, method access modifier so I am going to give specify even you can change the return type I am going to change method name you can change method name as well so I am going to give get int array and if you want to add some parameter in method then of course you can add by, by clicking over here so parameter I am not going to add if you want to add some exception type then this is so I am selecting exception plus 
and these are the things you can add and if you select this radio button then this is going to create a new method with the signature and previous method will be deprecated so i'm not going to select this checkbox so let's create over here and see method signature has been changed so this way you can change the method signature by pressing alt shift c right now next in this category we have a alt shift m and that is exactly for the refactoring the code so i would go to my client program and here i'm going to select this piece of code and if i press alt shift m alt shift and m so a uh, pop up comes and saying that extract method i'm going to supply the method name get from account details and press enter so now this method is returning to account and this method uh, code snippet is this code snippet is shifted in the separate method private method so this way you can refactor uh, code in your project so control alt shift plus m for code refactoring now next in this category we have a alt shift l saying that extract local variable create and assign a variable from a selected expression so to show this control what i am going to do in main method i am going to uh, write true something like that and if b is true then do this and uh, else else do something so here this is showing a comply compilation error so you can press alt shift l alt shift l and this pop up comes and saying that variable name you can give b or other than else so i am uh, giving the b itself and see compilation error as well so this is one of the beautiful command to extract local variable create and assign a variable from the selected expression so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed learning eclipse shortcuts for uh, refactoring the code in next video i'm going to come up with the some uh, some more sort of eclipse keys so please be with me there and please subscribe my youtube channel channel uh, so that uh, you can learn so many things and till that happy coding thank you so much guys